Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create views within Project Web App, Project Online. Alright, so as you can see here, this is a very unconfigured version of Project Online. It's pretty much out of the box. All I've done is put in a few projects. And what I want to do is show you how you can build out views anywhere in PWA, whether you're in the Project Center, whether you are looking at a project like so, are you actually looking at the project schedule? And that is actually a view as well. We can make changes to those views in here. Uh, if we go to options, you will see the different views, task summary, etc. When you're in the resources tab here, that's also another view. You can see different resources, grouped by the work, etc. Tasks, approvals, resource center. I'm going to show you how to create all of those views, but I'm just going to do it once and you'll be able to do it for everything. To do this, in the top right hand corner, click on the gear icon and click PWA settings. From here, you'll come down to manage views in the look and feel. And here are all the different views within PWA, Project Web App. So we can see the project, those are your, when you're looking at the project schedule itself within the browser, those are your views. When you're in the project center, looking at all the projects side by side, that's project center, those are your views. The resource assignments, when you're looking at the assignments on your various projects, that's another view. The resource center, when you're looking at all of your resources side by side, you have more views. It's a really good idea as an administrator to build out the views that make sense to your teams and remove the ones that don't. There's a whole bunch out here. You can actually delete those if you don't want them. You can also make them unvisible as well. Let me show you how to start out building a view. Well, I'm going to actually build a project center view, probably the most common type. Now you can go in and adjust one of the out of the box views if you wanted, or you could take that and make your own version of it. And that's what I like to do. So you've always got those out of the box ones there as well if you want. So click in the box next to summary. I'm going to click copy view. And I'm going to call this one um, projects by owner that's okay so you see it's going to take exactly what was in summary make a new version it's going to be called projects by owner there it is i'm going to click in that and now i can adjust this view so i'm going to say displays basic project information to displays projects grouped by owner you can see all the different fields that are in here and in fact if i come in to uh, project online let me see what that summary view looks like so we can adjust it side by side so this is the summary view we can tell because we're in the summary here so project id i don't even care about that project name start finish percent complete and also out of the box you don't generally get the event chart displayed that's an option that you can check there as well I'm going to make this view my own. So, projects group by owner. Let's remove the project ID. Project name, start, finish, percent complete, work, duration, owner. Those are nice fields. Last published, always a good one to have. Those are pretty much common. Let's create that one. I'm going to say first group by owner. So, my view is going to show me the projects grouped by the owner. Project name. You know, when we were in here, you can see that it's quite a wide uh, box here. Well, it's not quite wide enough, I'd say. But the start and finish are too wide, so we can actually adjust how many pixels of the project name. Let's give that 250. So we will see that maybe in 300. For the start date, let's give that half of what that was. Let's call it. Let's call it 80. Right? See how that looks. Same with finish. Let's make that 80. You can even custom name the field. So if I don't like project name, I could call it. Maybe this is a view that only shows different programs. I can custom label a field as well, even though everywhere else it's used is project name. It's going to be program name for me. Um, offset the splitter bar. That's that Gantt chart. We can offset this splitter bar. I usually push it way out of the way. 430 is like not much at all. Let's give it 800. 
That's obviously the default. People can adjust that after the fact. Grouping format. This is like different styling preferences that you can put onto your view so that, for example, when we're in here, that it, it's blue, but when we group by something, it will look slightly different or different colors and different look and feel. So you can change that. You can do filtering. So if I only want to show certain filters, if I only want to show certain projects filtered by some kind of property that you're capturing against one of those projects, you can filter that view as well. Let's say it was only IT projects, we could filter this view to only show IT projects. Maybe then I could create a view that would be IT projects that has a filter that only shows IT projects. I'll show you that quickly. I'm not going to filter anything right now, but you can filter by right, anything you want out of the box. Or if you create your own custom fields, those will also be visible in here as well. So we just put a test, the value. So, you know, for example, project type equals IT. Okay. It would filter out to just show me the IT projects. Pretty simple stuff. I'm going to save this view. And now it's ready to go for everybody to see and everyone to use. So I come back to the project center. Let's refresh the page here. And then come back to the project view, and I should be able to see projects by owner. Perfect. Boom, there we go. Now I see a different, slightly different view. Remember that the uh, project ID has gone away on the left-hand side. My program name is slightly longer. Now it's a program now, not a project. And that's pretty neat. And I can see the start and finish dates. Nicely adjusted, percent complete. Maybe I want to come back and do a bit more work. And that split bar is all the way over here. That's how you create views in Microsoft Project. I think of it, uh, put it online, it's a very trial and error. And you see by having two tabs open side by side, that's really gonna help you to understand what you were doing. I hope you found this useful. Again, you can do this for any, go back to PWA settings, back to manage views. You can do this for any view in PWA. There is another way, in fact, of creating views that will actually be in Microsoft Project Professional, the rich application as well. That's another video that I'm going to create and show you how to create those as well. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe. Please comment if you found this useful. And let me know if there's any more videos that you'd like me to share with you guys. Have a good day.